my name is Veronica Ngum Ndi. I am the CEO, founder of the Community Association for Vulnerable Persons. It is an organization based in Cameroon, focused on the rights of women and girls with disabilities and women and girls living with HIV AIDS. Specifically like a woman, and as a woman with disability, women have very little to say when it concerns uh, leadership roles and interactions in communities and churches. The thing that only men can be uh, bosses in an organization and a man's voice is stronger, he has the right to have the final say in, at home, in communities, even in professional leadership roles. So then as a woman with disability, it's even worse because very few women with disability are empowered and can be in the professional uh, milieu to be able to contribute give valuable contributions and take informed decisions on the rights of women and girls' involvement in day-to-day -day life. From these consultations, I realized that disability is a kind, is something that is contextual. It's not the impairment that you have on you that attitude and, and attitude and perceptions have placed barrier on you with them, but it is something in context, depending on what you want to interpret or the message you want to pass out. So these teachings have also transformed my mind to know that in advocacy, I can be able to use scriptural justification to show that women's rights are written right from the beginning of the creation of the world. And as, in as much as you're a man or a woman, you have equal uh, opportunities to to live a normal life and you have let your voice be heard, let your contributions to leadership and decision making, they are also valuable. I have been uh, carrying out advocacy with community leaders. I have been uh, uh, educating specifically women and girls with disability in Cameroon and back in my community in the Northwest region on their rights to be able to contribute in decision making and I will further do social media campaigns in promoting the rights of women and girls with disability. They are promoting their inclusion in leadership roles and in churches. And I'll also ensure that I give information, I raise awareness on a two-way, on a balanced scale. I educate women and girls with disabilities. I educate church leaders and community leaders so that it can be a balanced uh, uh, scale for people to move forward together, making them to understand that when a woman with disability comes to, or when women with disability or persons with disability advocate for their rights, is because they have informed decisions of what they are doing. I, I really want to give my appreciation to Faith to Action Network for having me all the way from Cameroon giving me the opportunity to represent the voice of women and girls with disabilities in Europe and not only for my not only for Cameroon but for the rest of the world because disability issues are global their challenges are global it, it, they they need to really help them support them transform their perceptions build their self esteem make them know that they have equal rights just like every other human to promote the respect of their rights and really be informed in decision making and really be informed on how to be in decision making circles thank you